The world of YouTube is very interesting when it comes down to its creators, but also the style of the creators, the hobbies, and all that. Combining all of it turns it into a massive platform, but there are some YouTubers who either don't take advantage of the actual potential that they either have, or they just end up getting caught up in other things, or in some cases, they get burnt out. And I wanna say, I wanna talk about one of these small creators who ended up getting burnt out to the point to where they don't wanna make videos anymore, DJ Vlogs. Now I know it's quick to say that, but let me quickly sum up who DJ Vlogs is. He's basically an 18 year old British YouTuber who loves the compilation of Now That's What I Call Music. I know that name sounds very familiar. I did Now That's What I Call Music videos myself. Another fun fact which I'll also say about this is that me and DJ Vlogs actually collaborated in a video back in 2019, which is kind of crazy to think about because that was four years ago. Although the main thing which I do want to talk about with this video is DJ Vlogs and the main thing which will come towards the middle of the video, which is gonna be, what happened to DJ Vlogs? I never can get his name right. Although, let's go down the layers slowly. Let's start off with the content itself and everything. I'm gonna say the name, pretty original. It's not bad at all, although it's a little hard to pronounce. I, maybe I'm just hard at pronouncing it. Uh, the actual videos themselves are fine, um, I'm gonna say that DJ Vlogs actually had varieties of content all over the place, especially in the beginning years of his YouTube channel, doing vlogs, and then he also went into different topics like going into like YouTube-based tutorials and all that. But the main thing that he focused on was Now So I Call Music, especially the UK series itself. And yes, I was in Now So I Call Music myself, but the main thing which is different with me against him is that I stopped going into Now So Call Music stuff. Meanwhile, DJ Vlogs has been doing Now So Call Music videos almost in its entirety of the channel since 2018. And as the channel slowly started to grow throughout 2019 and 2020, a lot of the other topics that DJ Vlogs was doing started to fade out over time. A lot of the videos that were like YouTube tutorials or any of the vlogs and any of that, that's gone. There's no more of that, at least in the more recent years. Meanwhile, DJ Vlogs has done Now So Call Music videos since 2018 and turned it into his primary content of choice. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, I will admit. But the big thing which I'll immediately say with this is that yes, you can have one piece of content, but as soon as you get bored of it after a while, you start to get burnt out over time too. That's the issue with having one piece of content, especially if it sticks in one space of the spectrum. It sticks in one space of one sort of series instead of going into other ones. It's not like he was going into like talking about other music albums or any of that, which great album by the way. But the main thing is this is what he was talking about primarily and there is no change whatsoever. I personally don't like the idea of sticking myself in just one topic. That's why I do multiple different video topics like YouTubers and all that stuff. I can't just stick in one topic. But I know there's certain people who can master it pretty well, especially when you got varieties of different stuff. I know that one of my friends as well said that having a channel with one topic is actually a lot better for you. This channel focused on only one series and that was because the view counts on the videos were insane. A lot of the other video topics that were featured on the channel as well, which were YouTube tutorials or other music compilations or even the vlogs, were rarely successful. A lot of them ended up being way less popular than some other videos, which is really upsetting, especially when you're doing like three videos a week on the same topics it really gets burnt out really quickly. Like you'll get burnt out quick. And this burnout has been very clear since the last video that he posted was 10 months ago. And I will say, damn, 10 months ago? Really? The one thing that hits hard with DJ Vlogs with this 10 month hiatus from making videos is the fact that he's posting literal advertisements for Nelswick Hall Music. Oh, I got this new CD. 
Have you gotten your copy today? I don't like for the fact that he goes out of his way to be like, oh, I get this new CD. Have you gotten it today? Imagine if I ended up posting about a certain album or multiple different albums on every single community tab that I posted and being like, have you gotten your copy today? And basically blatantly causing yourself to become an advertisement. I'm not, I, don't, I don't advertise this. It's not my main thing anymore. He's basically turned himself into a Now This What Call Music advertisement because he's not posting any videos on his channel. Even when he did, it was nothing but Now This What Call Music related. And it was one of those things where it's like, it can't be the same thing all the time. Just turning yourself slowly into basically a blatant shout out, or not just a blatant shout out, but an unpaid advertisement for either a corporation or so-and-so compilation. But this is where the big elephant of the room is gonna come in, which is the big thing of why I wanna make this video. Where has DJ Vlogs gone? Where is he gone? With his channel or any of that? What is he gonna do with this channel? I don't wanna be the person that break bad news. I don't want to. Because personally, I think it sucks to be the person that break bad news when someone else won't, but DJ Vlogs is officially not coming back to making videos. Unless I'm lying, which completely I could be lying about this. I could literally be the person saying this and being like, he comes back a week later being like, oh, I'm coming back to making videos. He's not. He's confirmed it himself. It's kind of unfortunate because it's like, this YouTuber had potential to be able to make their channel more successful. They, they, the one thing which I saw in this channel, in their description, in their like, their channel description was their achievements for the subscriber counts. The latest one that he shows, which he was hoping to hit in subscribers wise, was 1.5K. And it's really sad because it's like, this channel really had potential to be able to make more and they didn't. I mean, the main thing is, is that the big thing is he's focusing on one thing, which honestly, I don't think really is really that relevant anymore. I personally stopped caring back in 2021, but then didn't announce that I was leaving until 2022, which is a huge difference because when you know it's time to leave, then it's like, you know it's time. And I mean, that's why I'm not really keeping myself in, like restraining myself in one topic, which I know is not really gonna be myself anymore in this channel. Like I know for a fact that I don't really care about Now Swing Home Music, but he says he's a fan, which I mean, yes, you can be a fanboy. But when it basically restricts yourself to make that content like primarily and then leads you to a downhill where you're like you're burning yourself out with the content and everything you could you're clearly not happy with making videos like that is it really hard to just stop and then think about what you're gonna do i think it's about time to say put the fight on and it's not like i haven't helped him in some sense to try to get him back to making videos again but he personally just doesn't care about doing videos anymore he's he's living his own life now and it's fine if you're moving on with your life. Like you wanna be able to move on from like making videos and actually go into doing other things in your life, but then you don't end up mentioning that in your community tab. You just go out of your way, or even in a video, you don't mention it at all. You're just like, you're posting the same community tabs of certain things which aren't really relevant anymore. Like you're just making videos, or not even videos, you're just making community tab post basically saying that you got a new CD and you're not mentioning the fact that you're not gonna be doing YouTube anymore. So you're like, where is it gonna really end? Please make sure you have thumbs up. Again, I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news. I don't wanna be the guy to basically expose DJ vlogs for not wanting to do videos and basically blatantly becoming an advertisement for Now So Call Music. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to. But the problem is, if somebody's not going to do it, if especially the person who has the channel in the first place, somebody else has got to do it. So I don't really know what else to say about this YouTuber because it's kind of one of those things where he kind of had the potential to become a bigger YouTuber over time if he had switched his content out sooner, but he stuck with what was either popular on this channel or just stuck around because he knew he was a fan of the series, but then didn't let himself go out of it because he knew that like at some point or another he's getting burnt out 
And then the moment where he knew he could jump out, he was too burnt out to make videos. So I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys later when I talk about Fall Guy. And I know for a fact that it's coming out after this video. I promise. Bye!